I'm Greg Nelson, and I'm here with my buddy, Russ Krebsbach. Hello. Russ, you actually taught me how to hunt for arrowheads, but we're doing it for years before I was. What got you into it? It goes back when I was a small child. I remember seeing arrowheads on my grandpa's farm, and it intrigued me. So later on in life, I started hunting them myself. Right, and then when you got me hooked on this awesome hobby, um, you had al already learned a lot about arrowhead typology and sort of the archeological record in the area, but I would say together as a group of friends, we do a lot to self-educate. Yes, we do. Yeah. It's very important to know what you're doing, why you're doing it. Yeah, and I would say, you know, when we sort of say, why are we doing it? Um, these arrowheads come up in the farm fields as they get plowed every spring. The rain washes them out. And we just know that if we don't get out there and pick them up, over time, they're gonna get broken by the farm machinery and, and really uh, lost and further destroyed. And so getting out there, collecting this history, picking it up is a big part of what we do. Absolutely, and the, the farmers are all on our side with this too. They realize they're damaging a lot of this stuff and they, kind of like us being out there picking this stuff up before it is destroyed. Yeah, and getting that permission and doing that legally is a key thing of, of how we go about this. Um, building those relationships with the farmers, sharing what we find, and then logging these artifacts is so critical so that we preserve this history for the future, that we can share it with the state archeology span offices. We, we do all that. So logging our points is, is something Russie taught me to do right off the bat and to stick with it yeah yeah every year you log everything yeah and then the last thing that we might say is we organize as a group in the state of um, about 130 people as the gopher state archaeology society we're a group of amateurs avocational archaeologists and um, we have a show every uh, March at the Steele County History Center uh, we'll bring in thousands of artifacts from the state and from the Steele County area and uh, it's a big event open to the public and, and a great time to come and see a lot more of what we find. Thank you for listening to our presentation here from the Steele County Historical Society, where our mission is to preserve and share history today for tomorrow.